Hey, what's up guys, I'm Paul Tech Giants, and today I want to talk about the latest software update for the LG C2 and G2 OLEDs, and what's good and what's bad. Now I'm aware that there has just been an update released for the LG C1 and G1 OLEDs, and I'll be covering that in a separate video. So if you want to know more about that, then make sure you subscribe. Now I do know that I am late to the party with this update, but this TV has been off the wall for a little while, and uh, once I've put it back up, I did realise that this update was available. But I'm sure that there are lots of people out there who are still yet to do it. So, what we're going to do is just hold down on the settings button for a long press. We're going to go to support, and then software update. And we can see that the latest software version number is 03.30.45. Head on, on over now to LG's UK website for what they officially say about this update. And I've put in the uh, model number there of my TV, which is the 65 inch G2 OLED. And uh, if we scroll down to software update and we click on reference, it does say improvement, fixing minor bugs in software. What a surprise once again. And there we go, we also have those applicable models listed just there. So once again, LG not really given a lot away when it comes to what they officially say about this update, but what I have personally noticed when it comes to a positive side of things is that the menu does seem just to be a little bit more snappier than what it was before. Now I'm not gonna say it's massively improved, but there was a noticeable difference, which is a step in the right direction. Now let's talk about what was sadly the downside of me doing this update. Now uh, I've done the update and everything was running absolutely fine beforehand. And uh, once the update had downloaded and installed, things didn't go so well. And uh, I've got a bit of footage that I just want to share you guys just after I've done that update. So what I'm going to do is grab the remote control, do a long press on the settings button. And as you can see, first time you do it, nothing happens release it and then do it again second time it will pop up but if we highlight on general and click on that as you can see nothing is uh happening there let's uh try and go back into the settings again holding down long press absolutely nothing let off do it again yes that is done it we go over, let's go down to sound, click on enter, nothing, absolutely nothing. It's strange, we can go up and down, and there you go, it will just go back off again. Now this is a strange one as well, I keep getting Wi-Fi dropouts. Now I can't go into the main settings, but if I just press on the settings button just once, and we get those quick settings, if I go to network, click on that, as we can see there, it says Wi-Fi not connected, so if we uh, go on that, as we can see, the connection is actually turned off and I have not turned that off myself. So uh, yeah, a bit weird, but I can't select it either. I can't turn that on. So uh, what is going on? Very weird indeed. So as you can see there, it was a bit of a nightmare. And uh, you may say, well, you know, couldn't you have reset the TV? Well, the problem was obviously I couldn't access the menus properly. So it means I couldn't get to restore the TV. Now what fixed it for me was unplugging the TV from the mains and I left it off just overnight because nothing seemed to be uh, doing anything, turn it on and off a few times, that didn't do anything. So I unplugged it, left it off overnight, following morning plugged it back in again and everything was right as rain again. So that was a bit of a nightmare having that initial issue but once it resolved itself well it seemed to be just that little bit slicker as I said before. Now I'm not sure if this issue that I experienced is widespread for others. It'd be great to hear in the comments section if any of you guys that did do the update experienced anything like this. I might have just got unlucky. Sometimes that happens. So if you do want to do this update just bear in mind that issue that I had. You know be prepared potentially that you may have to unplug the TV for a while for it to uh, sort itself out but you know the end result will be that hopefully the TV might just be a little bit smoother when it comes to all the uh, navigation of the menus. So there you have it then guys. Now don't forget I will be doing a video on the LG C1 and G1 updates and uh, if you've enjoyed this one do us a favour give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.